Hello to my Leos, bonus video time, bonus video time. Someone sent me a text message wanted to talk about love, L-O-V-E. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. This is a general love reading. And so, of course, more importantly is self-love, okay? So only take what resonates with you. But thank you to the person who reached out to me who wanted a love reading. So this is general. This is a general love reading about what you can expect coming your way. So... Let's do it. Let's see what's in your cards. I've already prayed over your cards, Leos. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. So I'm going to cover what you need to release so you can welcome and um, maybe what you've been praying for, right? So let's, let's cover it all. Family stuff, all of that, so you can make room for new energies coming across your path, if that's what, if that's what your prayer is. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see too. All right, five of cups. All right, two of um, two of cups, the high priest is a justice card. We have the temperance card and also La Luna. Okay, here we go, La Luna. This is connect, this particular card, this is really about family, the moon. So there could be some energies in your family that don't really, something could have been driving you crazy. You know, that some people are just kind of really, really stubborn. Remember, we're walking it back and we're coming forward, right? We have the high priest. We also have the justice card. Let me put these on the same one because both of these are rolled by Venus, okay? So Libra and Taurus are rolled by Venus, right? And we have the temperance card, right? So I feel like, okay, we have the five of cups here that came out and then also the two of cups. Yeah, this person is proposing. So first of all, I feel like the energy coming across your path is um, you may be still lamenting over the past, trying to move forward, right? Trying to move forward and um, sending out messages to source that it would be nice if I can meet someone. Remember... As we're coming up on, even though we're, this is the first day of the new moon phase, if you're watching this on the 10th of March, we're not that far away from full moon um, in Libra. Libra is a very romantic sign and a partial lunar eclipse in Libra. And the reason why I have to bring this up for a love reading is because if you're still carrying emotional baggage from anybody from their side of the family, they didn't believe in you, your family didn't believe in you, they have different religious values and all of this other stuff, that's something that somebody wants to deal with right now because I feel like moving here, five and two of cups, there's seven of cups, there's a lot of temptation to kind of sort of go back to doing something that somebody may have done in the past. It's like, okay, not necessarily believing in yourself. And if you come from a situation where um, you've been carrying emotional baggage from your own family and then trying to move into a new situation as a fixed sign, that may cause you to kind of be fixated on this is just how I am, you know, just accept me as I am kind of thing. And then um, if they if you get another fixed sign, they may be fixated on how that's how they are. They not budging, you not budging. And that's that. Right. So in order for you to make room for new love this is water right so when you feel like you're stuck in the love area the first thing you want to start listening to on a regular basis is water sounds so that creatively you can start saying if we're trying to create a life together because i feel like somebody's going to meet their soulmate and if you're saying i want to create a life together you're going to have to learn how to be um learn how to create together, create together. That means, you know, learning how to flow together, like learning how to flow. So sacral chakra is, so whereas the root chakra, so y'all are going to have to start at the root, you and your person, because they are really a sweetheart. They'll see you as a sweetheart, a human lie detector, just like you could be one too. They are, um, excellent communicator they come from um solid family values too where they may have you know certain family members are just not they're not budging on their family values um so there's definitely going to have to be this learning how to flow together 
Whereas the root chakra, that's the that's the base chakra, is all about planning, um, stability, stillness. The sacral chakra, which is this water here, is really all about change, flow, and spontaneity. I can tell you that this soulmate energy coming into your life is really about adding to your creativity. They're adding to your uh, wide emotional range. They're adding to your joy, adding to your sexuality, adding to your fertility, and also adding to your pleasure. So this is not the type of energy that would be sexually rigid and use it as like weaponized sex. This is not the type of energy that's coming into your life to drain you. You know, they're not coming into your life to, um, you know, like they can't control their urges. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, if you don't feel like it, you know, they're going to go get it from somewhere else. And I'm talking to men and women, Leos. They're just not like that. So source is saying, if you come from a family where people are kind of like, something has been poured into you is like men are supposed to be this way and women are supposed to be that way. Men are supposed to do this. Women are supposed to do that. Source is saying we're in a different age where women take out the trash and men are in the house washing dishes or putting dishes in the dishwasher. Sometimes men stay at home and take care of the kids while the wife goes out. Or if you're in a same sex relationship, you know, source is saying if you come from a family that have those kind of prejudices against, you know, you can't love who you want to love you can't um, create the way you want to create, you know, that's something that, you know, and if you're operating in fear, source is saying you're actually pushing this back, right? So, so, so you may have been lamenting over something in the past, but this is the single digit number five sits in the middle of one and nine. So it's just saying you can, even the month of March, you know, moving into um, spring season in some parts of the world is, a, is really a sign to say, I need to spring forward. If I want this, I need to spring forward and get away from those, you know, those ways of thinking and that stuff that's been poured down into me. So that's what I'm seeing for you all so far. Let's see what else we have going on. Cause like I said before, if somebody is saying, even the color yellow is a sign, right? The, it, 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 what you could, you could be the man, you could be the woman, you could be the man, you could be the man, woman, woman. It doesn't really matter. Source is saying to you, the energy, that color yellow right here connects us with the solar plexus chakra. This is what you're saying. I can be in healthy, successful marriages. And so I may have to release some loved ones because every time I try to come out of my crab or my tortoise shell and try to bring somebody around or, you know, try to share, you know, what adds to my joy, then I feel like I have to go back in my shell because people don't accept it. Well, guess what? They may have to not be invited to some things, right? Because I definitely see somebody meeting their soulmate, right? And it's going to turn into something, right? So yeah, here we have the star card. Here we also have the three of swords. Here we also have the lover's card. Here we have the five of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and also the seven of pentacles, right? I definitely feel like somebody is going to believe in you. Like somebody coming into your life, they are really, they see you as a star, they see you as an energy that is, and I'm not talking about celebrity. Let's not get caught up in that because everybody is cel celebrated by somebody, right, Leos? But I'm talking about somebody who sees your purpose. They see why you're here on earth and how you inspire and you motivate other people to be their absolute best. There's a partnership in love and in business coming across your path. And like I said, they too are a star in their own right. So the way you all pour into each other and the way you all support each other, a lot of people are going to admire that. And so this is in, in full Leo mode, how you get an opportunity to lead other people out of, you know, help other people to come out of their shell in your own family. But you have to create a very firm boundary and enforce that boundary. And so the trash talking has to go. The trash talk here's the um, five of pentacles right here and the seven of pentacles. Source is saying it's harvest time trying to come your way. And this moon in Libra is going to be a real romantic time where a lot of people are going to be like, you know what? I feel like I'm ready to date again. I'm ready to kind of get out there, see what's out there. Somebody's going to have to have a plan. What does this person look like? You know, uh, on the outside and inside, because everybody has a type. So be very intentional and deliberate about that. But also, like I said, with the root chakra, 
root chakra is about stillness, stability, planning, right? So you're going to have to sit down and see what that looks, that person, what is your type? Write it out. This is where you can't be afraid. What mile radius do you want to meet that person? Because they are out there. What do you want to attract? Do you want them to approach you first? Or do you want to be doing the approaching? Source is saying it's out there because you're going to have to first move away from the deep disappointment and heartbreak that started long before you even got to the heart chakra, which begins the upper chakras and then leading up heart chakra, you know, um, uh, throat chakra, third eye, crown chakra, right? You're going to have to start at the root. Do you come from a family that you don't feel like you, you're in a safe space because people are sitting around talking a bunch of trash? Do you really want to bring a new love into that because it's trying to come in? And so sources say you're going to have to get away from the disappointment, the trash talking and all of that and start planting some seeds of discernment, start planting some seeds of wisdom and knowledge. Because the truth is, do you want to bring your new person around that where they're talking negatively about them? And it's like, oh, that's just my, that's how my family is. So source is saying, and I'm talking to men and women, Leos. I know you see the queen of pentacles, but people hold you in very high regard. And so will people hold them. And so source is saying, you're helping them to adjust their crown, just like they help you to adjust your crown. And so they definitely should be treated better than, oh, people talking negatively about them. Oh, they come from a trash family. Or I heard this about them. I heard that about them. They should be hating on the outside of your vault. <laughs> Because that's how it's going to be. I mean, they some of them, those people won't be invited. They're so busy flapping their gums, talking about people. And you're in a, I see you in a very happy, healthy relationship. So that's their loss for real. I see you leaving a lot of those energies in the past. Especially when somebody says, hey, it's my time to be in a, in a partnership, a balanced out, healthy relationship well, I feel inspired, motivated, because that's what that person is coming into your life. They're a strong leader. They have amazing self-confidence. They're positive energy. They're brave. They're creative. They're honest. They're very passionate. They're optimistic. I see you all living a really great life together. And so if your family members are not on board, they're trying to keep on pouring that trash, talking and gossiping. I got to do, I got to look up this and that and so on and so forth. Everybody has a past. So source is saying, their side of the family can do the same thing to you and it would just be a complete and total disaster. But source is saying to you that if you could not come out in your own family, and I'm not just talking about sexuality, but if you can't come out in your own family and feel like it's a safe space because people who don't believe in themselves don't believe that you have purpose, then they need to be left in the past. They need to be left in the past, no matter who they are. So... Because people gonna have to learn one way or the other that you're not playing around. Your happy, your happiness is is paramount. Your peace and happiness is paramount. Here we also have the six of cups right here. So I definitely feel like somebody's moving on to childlike faith. These same people that sit around in your family talking trash about people are the ones that sitting around waiting for your marriage or your relationship to break up. They waiting for you to be sad because misery loves company. So it's like you're not you don't have anything to prove to them. But add some structure to your ideas. Get real serious about adding structure to your ideas because you don't have anything to prove to them. They just won't be invited to the wedding, for real. They want to be invited to the wedding. They're waiting for somebody to get a divorce. They're waiting for, you know, somebody to end up in divorce court. It's sad. This is certain family. This is certain family members on your side and then on their side. So you're going to have to move on in childlike faith. But I definitely see you going through a rebirth. And cutting some ties. Remember right here, see this like in the shape of a pregnant person. And this is like I said before, I even pulled this card. Something came, you know, both from both sides of the family in that umbilical cord passed down to you. Certain family members are not going to budge when it comes to their belief systems. And sources saying they don't have to budge when it comes to their belief systems because it's their belief system, which could be significantly different than yours. They just won't be invited to the, the proposal. They have to hear about it through the grapevine because of their belief systems. So, you don't, I, I, let's see, let me see if I got some more information, but it's the trash talking part. It's the trash talking part, so. Here we have high priestess energy, right? 
So that's what I'm saying. Certain things could have been passed down to you through the umbilical cord. You could have high priestess energy. But remember, blessings and burdens are passed down from both sides of the family through the ancestral line, through that umbilical cord passed on to you, right? And so when some people realize that because of their their strong belief systems and they're not budging from that and that they won't be invited to your your um your 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 wedding and they won't be invited to you know the birth of your children if that's what you want to have they won't be invited to certain things if they're okay with you know sitting around still talking trash about people and being miserable that's on them but i see you living a very fruitful life and again that's on them that's that's really on them because they're not budging so and they don't have to but i see new money coming across your path because because you're no longer looking for their approval or their acceptance see your money was looking funny and change was looking strange when you were looking for their approval but once you stop looking for their approval because they like i'm not budging this is just how i am just very immature type of energy so it's just like you know what that's okay you don't you don't have to you don't have to budge you got it. So you toss that name right into a burning bowl and move on with your life. So yeah, I do see you around your your I definitely see somebody gotten off the fence and move forward and like saying, I'm tired of lamenting over this. I need to release this and I, I feel like, you know, I, I love who I love. That's what that's what it is. I, somebody say I love who I love. I'd rather be around my community of people who pour into me and I pour into them instead of being around, you know, crustaceans. Now, let me just kidding. You know, instead of being around energies who, you know, like I said, you know, you don't even feel safe around them. That's unfortunate, you know, that you don't feel some people don't feel safe around their own family. You can't love who you want to love. They so busy talking about, oh, they they don't have anything. They don't they just buy. So, yeah, so I definitely see you moving on. The more and more you take action to toss things into a burning bowl, like fear, doubt, uncertainty, you know, and, you know, caring about what they think. Because, again, not only were somebody's gifts, a high priestess passed down through the umbilical cord, it could have also been the burden of not believing in high priestess gifts and just saying, well, we don't believe in that kind of stuff. It could be a religious belief. That kind of stuff is dark and you know, what are you talking about? You had a dream and you had downloads and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of something that you and your person will be sharing in common. It's just kind of sort of like different beliefs and family, but you all have learned how to, um, you know, come together and learn how to be a, lo a little bit more, you know, um, flexible and adaptable in your relationship with each other, right? So here we have the eight of swords here. And and so in the past, you may have said some things to sabotage yourself because maybe your head and heart were at war with each other, but this is the same person, right? Even when you said something to sabotage yourself or somebody else may have said something to you, feel like they sabotaged the relationship or whatever, this is you. This is the old you. And this is the new you looking back at how like, man, I didn't realize you know, I didn't realize, you know, I was even sabotaging myself by just, just by being around people who were pouring trash into me. That's how a lot of people miss out on their meeting their twin flame because of what was poured into you from your own family and what was poured into them and their own family. So you confuse you like, I know I feel like this is my person, but now I got to check with 15 other people to see if they the one. No, you don't. All you need to do is check in with source inside. So, Yeah. It, it, what their sign is, it doesn't really matter what their zodiac sign is. Don't get caught up in that because everybody has a different birth chart, even twins and triplets and quadruplets or however many kids. Everybody has a different birth chart, right? So don't get caught up and I don't get along with this sign, that sign, so on and so forth. Just sit down, put your list together, start pouring into yourself, start flushing out those, those you know, family members that you can't even... You can't even be your true authentic self around them because they so they've been judging you since you were a kid. You know, like you don't want to be around. You don't want to invite them to anything. They be sitting there and talking about the cake is stale at the <laughs> at the wedding. They talk about the cake and say who made the cake. I could have made a better cake than that. Sitting there with their lips all poked together, like like they sucking on lemons. 
So yeah, so there it is. I see some kind of partnership in business and partnership in love coming across your path. So, you know, some people, like I said, they jump to conclusions about people. They're so judgmental and so mean spirited because they just hard and heart. So it's just saying your soulmate is coming across your path. And so somebody's going to have to gather their family <laughs> for real. Get, get your family straight. Like, because again, you could be really missing out on love because there's people sitting around talking trash about people. You Whether it's your church family, whether it's blood relatives, friendship circle, organization you belong to, somebody really deserves to be in a partnership where you feel like this is my twin energy not a karmic situation because now I got so much trash poured into me. I'm confused. So, yeah. So here we also have the nine of pentacles. So I see you moving towards financial independence, right? So, um, like I said before, a lot of people sit around and talk trash about people. They don't know what people's financial situation is. They so busy talking about people. They don't know what, and they, that's because the people that they talked about cut them off. So, yeah, so here we have three of cups. I definitely see you leaving some things behind and continuing to move forward. So five and three is eight. So again, I definitely see you're focusing on, you know, just like pouring into yourself in the meantime. But I do see you meeting somebody, like I said, soulmate energy. Um, yeah, we have eight, eight, eight. So the, the first thing is... And then I do see you all having a very rich life together. That's what I can see right here, looking at your cars. Like not just a not just a financially wealthy life, but I do see I do see um you all having a very fruitful, you know, life together. But somebody needs to toss some stuff into a burning bowl. People who jump into conclusions, talking trash and spreading rumors about people and that kind of stuff, they need to be left in the past because they will drive you crazy. La Luna they will drive you crazy with help, you know, because this is about illusions and secrets and all this stuff, other stuff. They just like to dig up dirt about people, but they're the main ones. I'm serious. They are the main ones, um, Leo, that, like I said, they hold on to stuff forever. It's like a, it's, it's, it's even like a person who could even have a digestive situation, uh, digestive issues because all they do is hold that's like, they hold all that toxicity right there in their pelvic bowl area, right? Um, or in that root, that lower chakra, they, they, um, the root or the sacral chakra, they hold all of that stuff in. And it's just like, they could be even having digestive issues because it's hard for them to just let go or release anything, you know? And I'm not even talking about, I'm, and I'm talking about like, you know how um, it, it's a, it's a lot of stuff that I'm seeing here in the cars for you all. But anyway, like I said, you survived a lot. You're ready to thrive. You're ready to live your best life. And being around people who are always talking about everybody is strategic and they got secrets and stuff, it exposes them more than it exposes anybody. So I definitely feel like, um, I definitely feel like you and, I feel like you and your person either already in your life or coming across your path have to be real careful about just your belief systems of what's like being downloaded into what was downloaded into your spirit and also what was downloaded into their spirit, Leo, because you don't want to sabotage a relationship before it even gets off the ground because, you know, uncle this said that or, you know, aunt this said that or who, you know, whatever was passed down through the bloodline of just like belief systems. So get yourselves ready to either meet your person or you, or if you're already in a relationship with your person and uh because i feel like somebody is really ready to be in a healthy relationship that's what i feel like somebody's really ready to be in a be in a very very healthy relationship and uh it looks like both of you all have gone through a lot of backstabbing judas type of stuff that started in your family first and then also it kind of worked itself out in some maybe some organizations that you belong to um, some friendships that you had. So both of you all have been through a lot of pain. And so you definitely don't need to bring that into the relationship. If anything is bringing healing into the relationship. So they have to be in thrive mode, just like you have to be in that. Maybe something you want to add to your, um, you know, add to your, your list. King of pentacles. Like I said, I see you all being very wealthy together, but somebody's going to have to leave the gossip and stuff out, right? Here's the hermit card. Yeah, because... That full moon in Virgo, we had a full moon in Virgo, 
gave you an opportunity to kind of sort of really look at self, like it just kind of like how you receive messages. And remember, um, uh, Virgo and Gemini's are ruled by Mercury, the planet of knowledge, wisdom, learning. Um, it's a messenger planet. It's factual memory, trade, travel, commerce, all of that, right? Sibling relationships. So a lot of a lot of um, belief systems were poor. You were you were you a lot of belief systems were poured into you, right? And so sources say, but a lot of belief systems were poured into your person coming across your path too. And so that's where you're going to have to learn how to kind of just recognize that, hey, we we can be in 888 energy for real. Like we can be in very abundant and prosper, prosperous energy if if we protect our sacred waters, if we protect our joy, if we protect our creativity, our joy, our sexuality, our sensuality, our fertility and what pleases us, the two of you, not whoever, you know, so it's going to take a lot of strength to tap into, you know, all of that. But I can tell you right now, in order for some, some people to be happy, some people will not, they cannot be invited to this, this pleasurable time in your life because they are just too negative. Looking at the cards, seven of wands. So I definitely see you praying and increasing your prayer life and just asking God for open roads because it's part of the game. It's part of some people's game. They like to be able to, uh, it's a form of mind control. You're going to feel very lucky when you sit down and think about very fortunate of who you come in contact with. Like, wow, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked. Somebody's going to say for real, you couldn't have asked for a better partner to come across your path, Leo's for real. You're going to say, I, I just, I couldn't even, I couldn't have thought this up. Like, but it's because not only are you praying for them and you were specifically asking inside and out down to the mile radius of where you meet them down to whether they're going to approach you or you're going to approach them and them saying yes sources saying somebody has it all mapped out even in your spirit you got to spiritually see it before it physically happens and, so, and that's what i'm saying for somebody but i see you all having a very wealthy life together and that may shut some people up and it may not shut some people up it don't matter how much money people have somebody may say oh yeah they think everybody a gold digger because they're trying to project that, that people project it onto them. So if you come from a family where, let's say you have a, um, you know, you have a family, like maybe your mom or dad married somebody from the other side of the tracks. You all know what I'm talking about with that. And their family told them, oh yeah, well, we, 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 that was a, our family is an upgrade to them. You, no matter how much money in your person, you and your person make, those same family members, We'll be saying the same thing about whoever you bring into the family. So it's just like you're gonna have to cut it off. You're gonna have to cut the cut the um the emotional valve off. Cause I don't want y'all reading some of y'all family members for filth, but they at least keep it on the throne. You know what? I can't invite them. Their energy is too toxic and negative. The maiden. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I definitely feel like somebody is saying, you know what, I'm speaking something to existence. You know, I, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. You know, I'm going to be the, somebody is right, like making a bold declaration. I'm going to be the one in the family where this is part of the generational cycle chain and curse that both of you all are breaking is that when you all decide, if you all decide to have children or adopt kids, you know, kids, if you have kids or whatever, that your kids will not feel like they have to, um, that they'll feel safe to kind of sort of be themselves, you know? So if one child wants to go to medical school, we support you. But if another child decides, Hey, they want to be a musician or open up a, a fruit stand on the beach, you would support them the same way. And I feel like that's what, you know, that's what you and your person coming together are just kind of sort of just deciding that, Hey, listen, we, we are sharpening everybody in this house gifts, yours, theirs, whoever's. So, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful, you know, uh, to somebody, but yeah, this is, um, this is going to be a real interesting year. <laughs> this is the year of wealth. A lot of people are going to meet their person this year. It's going to be a whole lot of families that's going to be sitting around somewhere, you know, talking to themselves because they won't be talking to you because you already moved on enjoying your beautiful life. So as much as we would like to bring family along, some people, they did it to themselves. They so just, ugh, just so toxic. And then when they sitting there and they got to hear everybody talking about, oh my God, we had so much fun at Leo's. 
you know, wedding, we all dancing. Did you know so-and-so got out on the floor and dancing? They sitting there going, hmm, they didn't invite me. I mean, you know, we family. <laughs> Y'all know. <laughs> Woo. Love spells. So let the honey of your soul swell in the depths of love. You know how family is sometimes, Leo. We family. I can't believe they didn't invite me, but they won't talk about how they they um, talk so horribly about your, your decision and your choice. They talk themselves out of getting an invitation. So like I said, I definitely see somebody meeting their person and it's whenever you're ready. It's whenever you're ready to say, have a hard look at yourself and say, okay, I, I got to I gotta release some people because I if I didn't feel safe around them, I know my person is not going to feel safe around them. And so, and that's the same thing for you. It's like, you know, you got your family taken care of because I don't want to have to walk into, you know, I don't want to have to walk into a setup, you know? And, um, you know, so here we have detachment. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside and without the fulfillment of, the, of a particular desire, often that's when it's fulfilled. Yeah. That's when it's fulfilled. Somebody's going to start realizing that I'm not carrying that into, I'm not carrying that, not downloading that mess into, you know, my legacy. I'm not doing that. I'm releasing it. So, yeah, because certain family members, they will prey on the downfall of your relationship before it even it gets, you know, grows legs. They just talking negatively about, did you see who they brought home? As if it's their decision. <laughs> Did you see? Oh, oh, I wouldn't have never. Yep. So here we have acceptance. So I accept myself as I am. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change. I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. That's it. Let's pull a number and let's close it out, Leos. But again, this is a bonus video that was requested. So I know it may be going up late in some parts of the world, but whenever you see it is when you're supposed to see it. So 777, I'm in the flow. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you, Leo, is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. So be at peace with whoever you choose or whoever you attract, right? Be the energy you desire to attract because it's coming in, but source is going to send it your way when you realize just like with this King of Pentacles, the wealthiest card in the deck, do you have room to receive love? Just like, do you have room to receive this enormous amount of wealth? And as much as you would like for your family to be able to kind of sort of, you know, some of them going to have to fall by the wayside because of their behavior. They don't know how to act. <laughs> they don't know how to act. So that is what I have for you, Leos. And um, I will see you all in the regularly scheduled videos. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, and, um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. But like I said, I see somebody meeting their partner in business and or in love, and I do see a proposal happening. So, you know, make room. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.